gold has been rising for last three months continuously as you can see here and it is nearly where it used to be before it started like you know, this huge fall for several months welcome back to this analysis of xau usd gold my name is vic i am the founder of akinsa capital management so what we can have on gold let's find out in this analysis we are not going to like you know uh, look at the entire uh, top down structure but i i will just give a little bit of brief idea what gold is doing or what it can do okay so right now what we have is kind of like in you know, a v sort of structure and the people who have gone through the fcp training uh, they know that there is nothing called v structure there is always a w or m pattern so we also have a w pattern in the middle of it and as i mentioned in my previous analysis by the way if you have not actually gone through my previous analysis or you are watching this for the first time i strongly suggest that you watch at least three weeks worth of analysis previously like you know three analysis uh, videos and then come back to this so what we have is that market has been going up and then i mentioned in previous analysis there are three levels which you should be aware of so one was around here second was approximately here and third is nearly now market is approaching there so in terms of those levels right you know we have a very good opportunity somewhere around here where the market can say okay i'm done and if if it starts to show signs of exhaustion then we can say okay the market may try to correct a little bit right you know it can fall down a little bit if that level is broken then there is a very good chance that market will try to go to the all-time high or in fact actually go much beyond that as well it can go to near about 2130 near about like you know 2100s or something so this is turning out to be like you know a kind of like you know very important level or zone that we should be monitoring in coming days or weeks so far in the month of january this has been very strong move and because it started like you know almost started as like you know um, with no rejection to the bottom and there was like absolutely no indecision this seems like you know very good strength which can also play out in month of feb so in the month of feb there is a good chance depending on how january ends there is a good chance that we will have uh, a bullish candle as well right you know it can be small candle can be large candle but there is a good chance that it can have a, uh, another bullish candle in the month of feb so but what are those levels i've been talking about like you know those three levels so one was around here second was here and third one is around here and this area can also be divided into three sub levels which are little far apart but we should be able to like you know find good opportunities around there i've been like you know sharing uh, some of these like you know day trading or small short term opportunities in my telegram group as well so if you're not there you are most welcome to join in here i um, posted several uh, posts on gold like you know how it looks like you know what are the opportunities there and uh, there um, i've also posted like you know a few water targets here what and research targets and these what and research targets were met last um like you know last week only one of them um is miss is uh, remaining which is 1943 we'll go through that in a second when we look at the levels but you are most welcome to join that telegram group and uh, the official one is vikinsa fx now what we have is if i go to the uh, uh, weekly time frame now as i said there is nothing called a v there is always some sort of like you know w pattern here so there is a w pattern and then we have a complex w pattern which i mentioned in my previous analysis as well and this w pattern is about to get completed if it is not going to complete like you know if the, when the, when the w pattern is going to complete the market is supposed to take a correction now if that does not happen or if this correction becomes like you know, a very small correction then there will be a good chance that market it will try to go beyond this previous high even like you know somewhere around here so that will be a very important level because we can like you know look for bullish opportunities from there and we can also look for bearish opportunities from there depending on how we get the confirmation if we get confirmation to the upside we can go bullish and that will be a very good trade if we get a confirmation to the downside then we can trade to the downside and that will be a good trade as well so that is why we should monitor these levels in coming days and weeks so let's look at those levels i've already marked them so if i open them there is one level here which was like you know um so one was 1906 1916 1924 these are all like you know minor structure levels which are very very important and right now we are in a zone here this is an fcp zone uh, which is running between 1930 approximately 1930 to 1920 or so near about like you know 
this ten dollar difference this fcp zone so because we are in fcp zone there is a good chance that market may try to come back down so if you're looking for a short term opportunity this can be a very good looking like you know m pattern here and that can like you know push the market down so this is a larger m pattern that we have got and then we have a smaller m pattern probably forming in the middle of it so these are small time small time like in short term opportunities however if the market continues to go up then 1954 uh, approximately that will be a very good level to look for bullish move and once the market has reached there then we can look for again like you know uh, short opportunities if the market gives us a rejection a confirmation from there then 1976 or 1980 is very very important level now if the market actually goes through this like you know and we get a good confirmation to the upside like you know maybe on daily basis or weekly basis then market will have a very good chance of actually reaching all time high or even push even much higher so this this level of 1980 okay and then 1953 and where it is right now 1930s 20s right you know around that level these three are very very important levels now there can be several opportunities around there right and they can be uh, multiple opportunities so if you if you look at this one so we had a w pattern here the market fell down and now we can have m pattern so there can be short-term opportunities however the trend and if you talk about the trend trend is still bullish and we haven't got any like you know proper confirmation as of yet on higher time frame which is telling us that you know the market is ready to fall down like you know for a larger correction so if you're looking for short opportunities that can be short-term opportunities and if you're looking for long opportunities that can like you know be a very good opportunity is going to the next level however when you reach 1954 or 1980 level approximately here then you should be careful about like you know either side because if above this the market can be very bullish below this the market can take huge corrections on even higher time frames and this is how it is looking right at the moment the market is like in a forming w pattern we have one zone here and we have one zone there and this there's a, in the middle we have a structure level and we possibly have a um, a kind of like you know gap left as well so that is why these three levels are very very important um for like you know uh, in in coming days and weeks now let me show you this as well all right you know these are the important levels that we have been monitoring right so 1954 is already there in our target in our um, analysis which has been there for a long time and now 1979 has also been there so these are two levels important levels so last week actually i actually notified in um, a telegram group as well right you know the market was falling down to retest this trend line which was around here and this fcp zone and the market could push up so this actually gave us very good short opportunities going back down into this from 1924 and 1916 and then market performed like you no know, retest and like you know, created a huge bullish uh, candle which was like you know, okay i'm done with the confirmation the market is still bullish and that is why i'm saying if you're going for short opportunities you should be very very careful if you're looking for long opportunities that is like you no know, far more favorable at the moment because the market has gone parabolic as i said in the previous one i you know it is still parabolic and this parabolic move has not been broken yet okay so as i said like you know in the previous analysis again we have four bases so it has probably formed like in you know, a fourth base around here um it's it's very hard to like you know find exactly which one are like you know first one two three four bases but it usually forms like you know um large large movement and then a base so i do not know at the moment that this is large enough to be called like you know this is a base or maybe like you know this is the third one and there will be a large enough so you can just like you know have a look at the higher time frame structure but you cannot like you know use those subjective methods to like you know analyze so what you should do is just monitor what the market is telling you trade what you see what the monitor what the market is telling you and trade in the direction of the market based on the confirmations and manage the risk so market is still bullish so you should favor bullish um bullish um, trades however beware of those three levels which are there one important point which i mentioned previously as well again i'm reminding you that you know this is a market which never leaves any kinds of gaps open so it has filled this gap it has filled three gaps which are left in um april 2022 or april or may 2022 and now it has come back um to fill those gaps up and possibly there is one gap around 1954 as well which is now very very close so beware of that now once that has been done only gaps which are left on gold are to the downside and the, there are few gaps around here 
uh, but one major gap is around 9, 1823 and then we have one around 1643 and then we have several at the bottom here which are not marked here on this chart uh, but premium analysis um, clients have uh, on their charts um, like you know those gaps are available on their charts so beware that you know the market is going to ultimately come down at some point in time to close that gap to close those gaps up as it did here after a few months it may come back down to close those gaps up but trade what you see at the moment the market is bullish and we go one level at a time so right now we are at a zone the market can push down for another retest or correction however if it continues to go up 1954 and then and then uh, 1980 level is going to be very very important if 1980 level is broken then we are looking for 2049 2072 and 2129 level okay now premium analysis report has far better levels here in the middle of it as well and uh, they, it uses multiple analysis techniques in there so if you want to like you know um, find about more about that or if you want to order a report uh, let us know uh, you can reach out on telegram or send a message on youtube or whatever other media and then um, uh, we can guide you from there okay now um, so that's it for gold analysis this week hope you enjoyed this analysis if you did make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share it with other traders and trading communities have a great time and i'll see you in the next one